All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Flyweight Division title. So here he is, the number one flyweight contender, looking to change that title here in 25 minutes or fewer and leave as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. What a run of contention it has been for this young man. He has put together a long winning streak. He's got the finishes to make the fans happy. He's done everything to position himself for this type of championship opportunity. Now, under the lights, we'll see what he can do with it. So here we go with this UFC Flyweight Championship fight, and there is the man out of the red corner, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, making his way to the octagon. He's defended this belt before. This is not new territory for this young man who believes that the rest are just the rest. He believes he is the best at 125 pounds and looking to prove just that here tonight. Till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Formiga is five years the elder. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! In ship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jussier Formiga. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 25 wins, five losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So here we go, the weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Formiga. Goes to the body there. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. Blocks the shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Beautiful head kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Effective punch there by Formiga. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Juicier Formiga. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown. Score some points. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Making all these shots count. Both fighters get up now. Beautiful leg kick. Bro. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Formiga. And he landed the right hand there. Formiga's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Under a minute to go in the round. Good stick. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 30 seconds remain in the round. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Final seconds here. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a pistol back and forth. He landed that beautiful left hand. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, he blocked that shot and lands the hook on the counter. Big kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
Oh, head kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Check that kick as well. That was a thudding leg kick. Next, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, collar tie. Oh, yet another double jab is good. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Just misses there with the left. Nice head kick. 59 total strikes have now landed for the Brazilian Juicier Formiga. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Juicier Formiga. Just missed with the left there. Two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Nice punch by Formiga. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Swing and a miss by an ever-improving Juicy A for me. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. We approach the one minute mark here in the second round. Unable to connect there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. 20 seconds left. Muay Thai plump. Oh, he eats a knee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, man. That, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. 
Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, huge block! That's a big strike right there. Put your hands up higher, come on! Oh, I can't put any weight on it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Effective punch there by Formiga. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Formiga. Many of these have landed with power behind them. 93 total strikes have now landed for Juicier Formiga. And just below 50% landing at a 46% clip tonight against Juicier Formiga. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Right hook to the head blocked. Formiga gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice, nice. Formiga's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Great timing with that beautiful takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Close guard. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Formiga. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Fifteen seconds to go. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready to fight? 
Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Formiga gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Big kick lands. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Big leg kick land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Oh! Checks that leg kick. Formiga's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, now he's got... Back right moment. He deserves his finish. Go finish his fight. Oh! Whiffs on the straight right hand. Real quick leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh! Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice defense there, huge block. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Formiga gets caught with that punch. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, we always talk about Formiga's jiu-jitsu, but how about the hands tonight and some power as well. Formiga's boxing starting to catch up with his grappling, DC. Hold your ground. Leading with that right punch. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice. Big punch land. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. He's trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Formigas has got full mount now. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook 
when you're fighting in a half guard position on the mat. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Great fight. Great. Great. It is the fifth and final round. Beautiful strike. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Just misses with the jab there. Nice loop and punch. Real nice body kick land. Went for the inside leg kick. Right punches there. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Nice punch there. Oh, big head kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC flyweight champion of the world, Alejandro the Cannibal Pantoja. And still UFC flyweight champion. People are always denigrating the flyweights, right? Always banging on the flyweights. How yeah. about this champion? I mean, when you have a champion like this, it's hard to say 125 division doesn't matter. People tune in to watch him perform. He is a great fighter.